Lee, along with Bishop, yes, yes, awesome. Bishop Diane Jardine Bruce were ordained and consecrated by the Episcopal Church on May 15th, 2010. Let's give it up for them. Mary is the second openly gay bishop uh, with a partner in the church history, so it's a really big milestone. one of the first two female bishops in the Diocese of Los Angeles. This is really impressive. And, and I think this is really impressive. She's been with her life partner since 1998. Or 1988, excuse me. She's older than some of you have been born. So let's give it up for that. That is amazing, the 80s. All right, let's give a warm welcome to Bishop Mary Glasspool. It is such an honor and a privilege to be here among one of the most wonderful, compassionate, and loving communities in the world. And I want to begin with a personal confession of sorts. This is all pretty new to me. The thing about being, you know, the lesbian bishop. I mean, I'm used to being a lesbian, but... Um, pretty new at being a bishop. So when I had the honor of riding on the back of a black BMW convertible as float number 21, one of over 120 floats in West Hollywood in the annual gay pride parade this past June 13th, it was a brand new experience for me. There were three or four reviewing stands with announcers offering commentary to the crowds of people along the way, and I heard one announcer introduce me in this way. Folks, here comes Bishop Mary Glasspool after Bishop Jean Robinson of New Hampshire, the second openly partnered gay bishop in the Episcopal Church. We've got one on the East Coast, and now we've got one on the West Coast. Congratulations, Bishop Mary. I can only think, one? One? <laughs> there are millions of us on the East Coast and the West Coast and everywhere in between and all over the world. But I knew what he meant. My sisters and brothers, I am so deeply aware of the cruel damage organized religion has actively and passively perpetrated on our community and other communities of difference throughout history. And I'm not here to proselytize, apologize, or theologize, except to say that the God I believe in loves all humanity and all of creation. And compassion. The God I believe in delights in our differences and wants us to delight in them too. The God I believe in weeps when we behave in any way other than to respect the dignity of every single human being. I've just finished reading a book by His Holiness the Dalai Lama entitled Toward a True Kinship of Faith, How the World's Religions Can Come Together. What is so impressive about this book is not the depth and breadth of experience this one Tibetan Buddhist monk in exile has had, nor the clear understanding he has of the world's different faith traditions. What is most impressive is that the Dalai Lama, like Jesus, understands that in order to attain world peace, we human beings must, must reach down into the depths of our humanity, opening compassionate hearts to one another. And our interactions must be all-inclusive, that is, must include people who do not follow a faith tradition as well as people who do. It is in this same vein that I want to encourage all of us who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered, 
questioning and answering, that's LGBTQ and A for short, <laughs> or most simply and fundamentally want to identify as human, to reach down into the hearts and souls of our beings, to the bedrock of compassion, and in the fullness and integrity of who we are, share ourselves with the world. You see, we have some very particular and unique gifts and skills to model for the world and to share. As a community, we appreciate difference. We already know how to get along with people who are very different from ourselves. And we know, through experience, the power of love that overcomes hatred and fear. So let's begin to imagine the future in pride and possibility. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, with all my heart for being the incredibly gifted people you are. Bless you and have some fun. Give it up for Bishop Mary Gladstone. That was beautiful.